Good morning, Great Brook. Bobcats. I'm Bob. And I'm Bob. And I'm Bob. And I'm Bob. Today is Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. And now, please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And, and now, now for some announcements. Good morning, singers. Wow. Great job to all. You all amazed Mr. Kogan. And congrats to the soloists, Collins, Brooklyn, Sophie, Jenny, and Chelsea. Mr. Kogan. <clears throat> Today's lunch is choice A of a cheeseburger on a bun and a choice B of a sun butter and jelly sandwich. Mmm. Remember your manners in the cafeteria. It's the Bobcat way. Make sure to bring in permission slips for the play. It's tomorrow. Get ready to travel through time and dance in your seat. All oh, eighth graders, Miss Kid's still missing baby pictures. If you don't get one in, she will put a baby picture of Mr. Boulder instead. Well, now I'm really gonna get, now I'm definitely gonna get my baby picture in. Well, now, well, now for weather. This is weather with Bob. Today's weather is going to be a high of 46 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 23 degrees Fahrenheit. How has it been so hot recently and then this cold right after? I mean, it felt like the end of spring to like the end of winter. Though, this winter was pretty warm. Well, that's all for weather and now for I Am Root. Bobcats and welcome back to I Am Root with Cat. This week's root is pseudo. Pseudo means false or fake. One example of the root pseudo is pseudonym. Pseudonym means false and nim means name. So quite literally meaning false name. A common place that we see pseudonyms are in writing. Oftentimes writers will use pseudonyms to cover their real names. A famous example is Mark Twain whose real name is Samuel Clemens. Another example of pseudonyms is Bob and Cat. Well, that's all for I Am Root, and remember Bobcats, we're rooting for you. And now, for jokes. <laughs> 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 Hi there, I'm Bob with Dog Jokes. What kind of dogs like to take a bath every day? A shampoodle. <laughs> Here's another one. Why did the dog resign from his job? Because the work was too rough. <laughs> well, that's all for jokes, and now for recreating odd things online. Welcome to back to recreating all things online with Kat. And Kat. So, Kat, can I tell them what we're doing today? Please. Go ahead. Yay! Okay, so today we'll be showing you a recording of our interviews that we did with Kat. You can tell them this part if you want. Okay. We interviewed some teachers who contributed some of their amazing artwork to the showcase in the main hall. Here it is.
we have Miss Young here with her artwork, these beautiful paintings. Um, I would like to ask you, what was like kind of an inspiration? Like, what? Why did you make the choice to do birds and green? Oh, well, I saw them in a magazine, and I thought I don't need to buy those. I'll just paint them, and so I painted them. Perfect. <laughs> and I chose green because green's my favorite color. How long did it take for you to paint them? I would say a couple hours. The, the background is just sort of abstract, just mixing some, some paints, and then I just used black and painted the birds. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we have Miss Gourlay and her artwork. Um, so my favorite out of these were the sunflowers because I love sunflowers. But we were curious as to what would you call this kind of art? Well, this is called cross stitch, and I love to do this because you can do lots and lots of different patterns. I did this during the beginning of COVID, and I did this one shortly after, and I'm working on a framed piece for my older son right now. It really keeps my hands busy, and I love being, being creative. That sounds very fun, actually. Okay, um, do you have any, like, inspirations in particular for either of these? Yes, my sons both live in big cities, so that's the inspiration for this one because it reminds me of New York and Los Angeles. And this one was just a beautiful one that was um, kept me going through COVID. I think that's a pretty good explanation. And lastly, do you remember about how long either of these took? This one was about three or four months. This one was almost six months. And the one I'm working on now has taken me almost a year. Don't you think? Except for how long they took. Yeah, totally. They put so much effort into those. And the effort paid off. Well, that's all for recreating about things online. And now for Principal Pick Me Up. Bobcats. So here's another exciting adventure in Principal Pick Me Up. Well, maybe not an exciting adventure, but it is something I wanted to talk to everyone about. You know, Miss O'Connor and I went around and we spoke with you all about the whole discriminatory and hurtful language and things that are going on. And I'm excited to how well that and respectful and great of an audience you all were when we were talking to you. So I just wanted to get on, on the show and I wanted to tell you how much I appreciated that and also just kind of remind you, right? You got a goal. You put something down on that little piece of paper and hopefully over the next few weeks, few months, maybe even years, that'll be something that reminds you of what you want to do and how you want to act and what you want for all of your school communities that you're engaged in from now and for the rest of your life. So, keep up the good work, and now we are going back to the anchors. Sorry, we forgot to share the picture taken at the choir concert last night. Here it is. And now, for birthdays. Happy Bobcat birthday! We hope it will be great! Every single Bobcat get up and celebrate! Yay. Happy birthday! Woo! Happy birthday today to Brandon V. We're glad you were born. Respect. Responsibility. And safety. It's the Bobcat way. You put the green gray brook. So have a great day.
Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.